everyone um i should really be doing something else today i have deadlines coming out of my ears that i should be uh, focusing on but i just feel in the mood even though it's not the best light but i feel in the mood to film some video and to have a chat so i thought what better time than to do another quick one and today's quick one is how do i use twitch for music so we had Karen Allen in from the account Twitch for Music a couple of weeks ago and she delivered us a live bumper session of all you need to know about Twitch for Music to get started anyway. And I've had a few requests since for a bit of a summary. So I've summarised some of the little gems that Karen gave us. So for those of you that don't know, Twitch is a streaming platform. It's primarily used by gamers, but there's a growing community of musicians on there. So you're finding singers, songwriters, performers, DJs, all carving out space for themselves on this platform. So why use Twitch for music? Well, first of all, there seems to be a good amount of musicians on there who are earning a full-time income from streaming their music and performances on Twitch. And this is because the platform is built to incentivize your followers and community to participate and pay unlike most other platforms. It's also a really good platform to build a following up on because of the way that the community engages with you and with each other and it seems to be able to convert that community outside of the platform too by sharing your links to merch or to profiles or to your web page for example. Another good thing is that you don't need a really big existing following before you get on there or to bring your following with you. But in fact, because of the way that it works, you can start as a small independent artist who doesn't have a large following on there and build one up within the platform. So how do you make money on Twitch? Well, there's a few ways. First of all, you have to qualify as a partner or an affiliate. Um, it seems that you can make the same amount of money as either a partner or an affiliate, but it's much harder to become a partner. So it seems to make a lot of sense to focus on being an affiliate. Um, one of the ways that you can make money is that you can do an external link to a platform where you are selling your music or any other type of number of merchandise. You can also enable donations, which can be taken via payment processing platforms like PayPal or Stripe. And in fact, you get 100% of those donations minus the processing fees that those platforms put in place, which is actually really cool. Um, also, there is a virtual currency which converts to in real life cash um, called Bits, which they use on Twitch. And people can just give you bits, just straight up give you bits, or they can use their bits to purchase cheer motes, which are like animated emojis, or emotes, which are the emojis that are used within the Twitch platform. And these are all used to um, express what they are feeling about whatever you are streaming, so your performance or your music or what you're saying. Another way for people to support your channel is through subscription subs. So subs are monthly reoccurring payments which are set at different levels and as the content creator you get a pretty decent split from Twitch so they're pretty cool. Um, for their subs a follower will get to watch your content without any adverts. Um, they get access to your emotes so it's definitely worth putting a bit of work into making those desirable but we'll talk about that later a little bit more and um, they also can get a number of other benefits which you as the creator can define so some of these examples can include uh, supporter badges so you might have a table of your top 10 supporters and they might all get a special badge or if people are subscribing at a certain level they might get a special badge so badges that support and reward their engagement levels 
Um, you can also offer them exclusive chat rooms and exclusive competitions. And what's also cool is that followers and viewers can gift subscriptions to other people in the community. You can also make money through ads, but you need a lot of traffic. So this can potentially be a longer term goal for you on the platform. So how do you get the most from Twitch and how do you make the most of the benefits that it's offering as a platform? Remember that community is king on Twitch. So welcome people as they enter, make it a welcoming and fun environment. Don't forget the back and forth conversation. This isn't just about you pushing content. It's about a two way dialogue. So um, making sure that you're paying attention to the chat and seeing what people are saying about what you're doing and your discussion points. And don't forget that people are there for each other too. So they're there to engage as, as a community. So encourage discussion amongst the people that are viewing you. Number two is be consistent. You only make real traction on Twitch when you're actually live streaming. So it's not done so much with the old uh, content or the content that you archive on there as with other platforms. So in my words, you kind of have to show up to grow up. Anyway, uh, if you can't be consistent, then what you might find better is just staying in your lane, working on platforms where you are inclined to put the effort in or where you already have a bit of traction. The work commitment for a full-time salary, what the recommendation was five days a week, two to four hours a session. But it pretty much seems like the more you put into this, the more you'll get out. Number three is get your tech all set up. So you don't stream directly from Twitch, you actually stream from production software, which sends the stream to Twitch. At the moment, the most popular is OBS, so you can check that out. I would say it's not the most straightforward of processes, but actually it's not brain surgery. So there's loads of guidance online and there's videos, of course, on YouTube, which should be able to talk you through. You will also want to consider other software that will allow you to do things like manage your song requests and will show like on screen alerts from the chat. So you can just stay on top of everything that's happening and really keep that two way conversation going. In terms of other things to think about, you want to make sure you've got a good camera, that you've got my a good mic, that you've got good sound, and you might want a soundboard that connects to your computer. The important element about your environment is to make sure that it's welcoming, to make sure that it's reflective of you, your channel, and what you're putting out there. Number four is collaborate. Don't neglect building up relationships, making those real connections. The more that you support others, the more that they will support you. Don't forget those in real life networking techniques that you use. You know, hang out on people's channels, find your people, find your tribe, say hello, get involved in discussions. Remember that at its core, Twitch is a community and to be part of a community, you need to invest and give back. And we were told that there are three communities that you really need to focus on. There is the relationship between you and your viewers and that community. There is the relationship that the viewers have with each other and that community that that builds. And then there is the relationships that you as a creator have with other creators on Twitch and other streamers. And if you invest in those relationships and you find your people and you find other streamers and creators who will have similar viewers that would view your channel too, you open up this really cool opportunity called Raids where um, when their session is finished, they can send all their viewers over to your session. So it's a pretty cool feature. Our fifth and final tip 
for making the most out of Twitch for your music is to incentivize. And this is really about encouraging people to participate and view your channel and rewarding them when they do. So this starts off with acknowledging everything that people do. So acknowledging them for turning up, thanking them for getting involved in the discussion, acknowledging if they purchase a sub or if they donate, acknowledgement for everything. And you can obviously level that up as well by doing some of the things that we spoke about, creating those badges which show sort of top levels of involvement and engagement. You could create a leaderboard of your top fans or top participators, top subscribers or gifters. And it's just another really good way of incentivizing and acknowledging and thanking them for their participation. Another good thing to invest in is these emotes that we spoke about before. They are a good way to incentivize and encourage engagement. So if you design really cool emotes that work, that really represent the reactions that people want to give you, or they're really funny, or they're just a really good design, then people are more inclined to want to buy them. Also, they act as good free advertising for your channel because viewers won't only use them in your channel, but if they really like them, they'll use them in other people's channels, which of course opens up a discussion of where did you get that emote, which can then send people to your channel. So that's it for this live session, how do I use Twitch for music? It's a summary of the live session that we had with Karen from Twitch for Music, which you can still catch on our IGTV channel. I would also love to hear from you if you are already using Twitch as a musician, how's it working out for you and what tips do you have to share? And if you haven't started using it, are you going to start using it? Let me know, drop in the comments and I will see you at the next quick one.